you're taking a border crisis and now you're injecting that crisis right in the heartland of America. Hello, friends. Off the top here at 6, outrage over immigrants seeking asylum dumped in cities around the state, including dozens dropped off right here in Baton Rouge. State officials and some advocate groups say that they are upset with the way the president, Joe Biden's administration, handled things. Our Bria Bazette has been tracking this all the way to the local shelters where immigrants were originally sent. Bria, what can you tell us? Greg, when I spoke with lawmakers and support groups, they told me that they're mad at the lack of communication. They say ICE did not tell them ahead of time these groups were coming to these certain cities. We deal with surprises every day. The Society of St. Vincent de Paul received a phone call Friday asking if they could house around 60 immigrants at their shelter. Unfortunately, our shelter at that time had all filled up. Understand that those who were being dropped off were single men mostly, maybe some single women. Immigrants bused to Baton Rouge were dropped off at the Greyhound bus station and directed to St. Vincent de Paul. Volunteers at the shelter gave them bags of food and toiletries even though they could not house them. Instead, they found support from the group Louisiana Advocates for Immigrants in Detention. The Baton Rouge chapter says they were notified by ICE that immigrants were on the way to South Louisiana. We had volunteers there and there were volunteers in New Orleans that housed the ones that couldn't get plane tickets out for that same day. We want as much notice as possible when people are coming and more volunteers can are always welcome to help. But that is not always the case. Frances Kelly is a volunteer with Louisiana Advocates for Immigrants in Detention. She says at the three other drop-off sites in Shreveport, Natchez, and Monroe, the group wasn't told in advance about the immigrants seeking asylum in those cities. I don't know if there's like a legal requirement for ICE to notify the elected officials, but I always think that better communication um, will help ensure the safety. Some of those leaders who say they were left out of the loop include Mayor Sharon Westenbroom, Senator Cassidy, and Congressman Graves. Those we talked to today say they're upset with the little to no warning given to local officials. All of a sudden, if you see a surge of, of migrants and people that potentially don't speak English, people who have no idea where in our community they can be going for help or what type of assistance is available and these people are potentially homeless like th this is just unjust to be doing to folks of course we did reach out to ice and they did not get back to us now the louisiana advocates for immigrants in detention did write up a civil right complaint accusing ice for not following the proper guidelines when it comes to transporting immigrants they sent that complaint off to the homeland security and ice hoping to clean up some of the confusion guys all right Bree, thank you for that